if you have not tried the filled Twizzlers, they have like this extra goo in them. Mm, this is the best way to eat them too. One of each color. You need them in your life. Hey guys, it's V. Still got the Twizzler in my mouth. Maybe not a good idea to say at the very beginning of a video, but uh, today we are going to be doing our July Ipsy unbagging. No Sephora play box this month, and I will get into why after I unbox my Ipsy. So stay tuned after that if you are interested. I've got a little bit of some tea to spill because I am a little upset with how Sephora handled things this month. So first off, we'll start with my Ipsy bag. It looks like they got the uh, needs reinforcement message. So there is a thick piece of packing tape also keeping this from being ripped open. I guess maybe their seals are just not as good. I don't know what's going on. Or maybe I actually redeemed like three things this month with my points. So maybe they forgot to put one in there and so they ripped it back open so they could put it back in. I'm sorry I'm distracted, but there are birds like flying in circles around my apartment and they've been doing it for like a week and a half. It's very weird. Let me know if you know why they're doing that. But like random parts of the day, they'll just start flying in circles everywhere. It's very but yeah, I did redeem some products, so I'm excited about that. The first thing that I redeemed is this NYX Double Stacked Mascara, and I plan on doing a video on this on Saturday, so I hope y'all are excited for that. Stay tuned. But let's get into my actual Ipsy. Ooh, it's holographic. I dig that. Very cute. It's got little umbrellas on it. Let's see. This one is the Hot Summer Nights. So let's see what's inside, because it is definitely a hot summer day when I'm filming this right now. Okay, first thing... Too Faced Hangover RX. Oh. I feel like I'm in the minority on this, but I got one of these in a sample like thing from Too Faced. It was like their most loved set. They had one. I actually did a video on it. I'll link it here if you're interested. I don't think you can get it anymore, but they have different colors and they still have the same set. It's just different colors, but I got this sample and I absolutely hated it. People say that it smells like coconut water and mine smelled like red hot tamales. So I think that I got like a nasty one or something. I don't know, but this is the same size that it was. And I also tried it on my face and it did not work well with my foundation. So I'm gonna smell this one and see if it also smells like hot tamales because if it does, I'm trashing it immediately. <laughs> Maybe the one that I got before was just like a fluke and it was gross and this one will actually be good because this primer actually feels really nice. Nice. Maybe the one I got was just expired. Yeah, this one doesn't smell like hot tamales. Now that I'm really smelling it, it definitely smells like the coconutty smell. So it's not a very big sample, unfortunately. I'll probably only get like two, maybe three uses out of it, but I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna give it a second chance because I believe in second chances. And you'll definitely see why later when I talk about Sephora because I'm giving them a second chance. We'll see if they succeed. Okay, next thing in here is a little eyeshadow from the Balm. I've definitely gotten one of these before from the Nude Dude or Nude Tude palette. This one is from the Meet Matrimony palette and it is the shade Matt Kumar. It's a really pretty kind of burgundy shade. I like the fact that they include this, I guess, for other people, but for me, unfortunately, I don't really ever reach for single eyeshadows. It's a pretty color. It's a very nice matte pigmented shade, but uh, actually Ipsy was doing a little deal. They do these deals like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I think is when they said they update them and you can get stuff for a lot cheaper. So I actually got the Meat Matrimony palette for $22 free shipping. It also came with my Ipsy bag, like it came in the same day. So I just got that today. So I don't really need this necessarily, but they didn't know that when they created my bag. So I'm not giving them a fault. This is a good little sample. I probably won't use it obviously because I definitely have the full palette, but I'll give this to Sam or someone that I think we'll use it. Next thing in here is a Skin Iceland Solution for Stressed Skin, the Antidote Cooling Daily Lotion with Icelandic Kelp. I feel like I told them that I don't want lotions in my Ipsy bags anymore and they keep giving me lotions because I'm just over lotion. I have so much hand lotion that I've gotten from these Ipsys that I don't even use. So let me just... Uh, I'll give it the benefit of the doubt and I'll smell it, see if it smells nice. Maybe I'll use it if it smells extra refreshing. This safety seal is childproof. Eh. Oh, some of it pooped out, so we're just gonna take that on my hand. Ooh, it definitely feels cooling, like it said. Ooh, it smells like um, Tiger Balm. 
I love that smell. <laughs> Maybe I'm weird for liking that, but it's nice. I actually kind of like that. I feel like that would be good, like, if you're kind of hot outside and you just need something cooling to put on your, like, I don't know, back of your neck or an area that just gets really sweaty. Like, I feel like that would actually be kind of good. So I might actually keep this in my purse just in case. Still don't like the fact that they included a hand lotion, though. I'm just not into hand lotions, and I'm pretty sure I put that on my survey. Okay, next thing is the Palmetto Derma Rejuvenating Antioxidant Mask. Brighten and soften skin. I mean, I'm all about brightening and softening my skin. It's a very interesting applicator. It's like, it gives you this little cap, but then it looks like it's something that you have to cut the tip off. Like, you know, when you get a new tube of frosting. So I can't smell it or anything, but uh, all right. I'm all about brightening and softening, so. I'm okay with it. My hair is bugging. My bangs are bugging the crap out of me. I literally trimmed them before this video because they looked worse than they do now. And I feel like they still just are making me very angry. Last thing in the bag this month, ooh, a brush. Hopefully it's a good brush. Please, please let it be a good brush. The only good brushes I've gotten from this are Luxie brushes, so let's see if this one is a good one. It is from the brand called Vasanti. Never heard of it before, but it is the Contour Eyeshadow 4 brush. It looks like it may have uh, gotten a little warped inside the Ipsy bag, but it's really soft and it's really little. I love little blending brushes like this because I have smaller-ish eye space above my, that made no sense. I have smaller eyelids, so I like using a smaller blending brush and this is really soft. I actually really like this. Let's see if it passes the shed test. Yes, ma'am. Definitely passing. There are no sheddies. Is sheddy a word? It's probably not. I made it up. I really like it. I just need to get it wet and kind of reform it so it's actually a blending brush and not some weirdly shaped little looking flame thing. <laughs> so overall for my Ipsy, I liked pretty much everything. The only thing that I really didn't like is the Meat Matrimony eyeshadow just because I don't go for single eyeshadows that much. And uh, I'll try the Too Faced primer again. I'm not guaranteeing that I'll like it because I hated it before, but I'm really thinking that I must have just gotten like an expired one because I feel like everybody that's tried it says how freaking amazing it is and I was just not on that boat for some reason so I need to retry that but uh let's talk about Sephora so fast forward to like the middle of June ish I had some fraud on my credit card and it's the card that's linked to my ipsy it was not ipsy fraud it was completely different I don't even remember where it was but my bank contacted me they got my card canceled sending me out a new one whatever so basically um, my bank dropped the ball a little bit and I didn't get my card for like three weeks and um, so this was the middle of June so I didn't get my card until after the first of the month, which is when Sephora and Ipsy both charge my card. So on the first of the month, I went to the Sephora website and I changed my card information to a different card because I was like, okay, it's still the first of the month. It says that charging can be between the first and the fourth of the month. So I was like, okay, I'm changing the card today. It'll be fine. I'll still get my box, whatever. So not the case um uh, so i waited until the fifth because it said it could charge between the first and the fourth of the month so i waited and i still hadn't gotten the charge so i called sephora customer service lady was super nice she basically just told me that they have actually until the seventh to charge my card so she said call back on the eighth if you still don't see a charge on your card on the seventh and i was like okay i will do that so i called back on the eighth and i'm like hey um, still no charge on my card. She told me to wait till the 8th, so I'm waiting. It's a different person, obviously. You could never get the same person in customer service anywhere. If you do, I don't know, maybe you're lucky. But, uh, I was like, hey, she told me to call back. I calling, I'm calling back because it's still on my... I cannot tell my damn story. Oh, why can't I talk today? So I basically just tell the new guy the same thing and he says, okay, so I'm, I see that we did do a test charge and that went through like just for like zero dollars or whatever. So he's like, okay, I'm gonna try and force this through tonight. If you don't see it tomorrow, call us back again. So we're getting to the ninth. So uh, still no charge on the ninth. So I called back again and the guy was very nice, but he told me basically that there was nothing that he could do and that the Play by Sephora box is an automated thing and they can't manually go in and change anything. So I'm just not gonna get my box this month. So I was a little upset 
Considering this is the third time I called customer service to try and make sure that this happened and it didn't happen. Um, so I wasn't I wasn't rude or anything. I'm never rude to customer service. I've worked in retail. I've worked, I work in customer service right now. Um, so I'm not gonna be rude, but I just said, you know, I was really looking forward to this box. I get that this is like a first world problem, but like, I mean, I do video reviews on this and they're one of the videos that you guys really like to watch. So I really like, I really like filming them and I really want to show you guys what I get in them. So I just was really kind of just a little bit upset on the phone. I wasn't mean to him. I know it's not his personal fault. I was just kind of upset with Sephora as a whole so um, he actually gave me a bunch of points um, which I mean I told him I was like you know I, you don't have to give me points it's not gonna help me anything like he gave me like beauty insider points and he was like well actually I'm gonna give you enough points you can get a 500 point perk I'm gonna bump up your points to 500 so I mean I appreciate that I just am really not okay with how this all went down in terms of the Sephora Playbox being an automated thing and they can't change it at all because that is obviously a flawed system because there are gonna be problems. So whatever, I hung up, I was kinda pissed, but obviously what can I do? He he told me there was nothing I can do. So then, um, like one or two days later, I get an email from Sephora and they say, hey, um, due to the fact that we oversold our July Sephora box, you're not gonna be getting your Sephora play box this month. And I was kind of like, okay, I mean, I wasn't getting it already. Is it because of this or is it just because of my credit card issue or what is it because of? I don't really know, but they said because we oversold the box, you're going to get 500 points onto your Beauty Insider account and because we oversold it, sorry, we didn't mean to do that. Your next month will be fine as scheduled. And I was like, how am I supposed to know it's going to be fine as scheduled because I don't even know what the real problem was. I don't know if it's because you oversold them or if it's because for some reason my card couldn't get updated even though they did a test charge on it to make sure that it was updated. So I, I don't even know what the real problem was and how can you say you oversold the box? I mean I've been getting the box since it started. I was one of the very first people to get this box. I mean, I've been getting it since September. That was the first month that it started. So if you're saying you oversold the box and I don't get a box, but that's kind of messed up because I've been a loyal subscriber of this box since it started. And I mean, it's just messed up. You know what I mean? I'm just really, really kind of salty about the whole situation. I'm going to see if next month everything works out as planned, but I thought that I would go ahead and read off what was included in July's box because they actually sent me a survey to say like, what do you think of the Play by Sephora box? And I told them what I thought bet your sweet titty I told them what I thought but uh yeah so it ended up telling me what was in the July box because you had to like check off what boxes you've gotten and it said what was in there so I will read off to you guys what is in this box so in case you're wondering inside the July 2016 box it's called effortless summer it has nest fragrances citrine first aid beauty skin deep rescue cleanser with red clay <clears throat> not sure how to pronounce this I think it's Uwe wave spray smashbox photo Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer, Beauty Blender Blotterazzi, Too Faced Soleil Matte Bronzer, or if you don't get the Too Faced Soleil Matte Bronzer, you were supposed to get the Benefit Do The Hula Soft Matte Liquid Bronzer. So, since I read that, I was like, honestly, I don't really want any of those things anyway. So, I was gonna be really upset if there was something in this month's box that I really wanted. But I mean, the only thing that I kind of maybe would have wanted was the Too Faced Soleil Matte Bronzer, but I have the chocolate bronzer already. So I kind of was just like, eh, not really anything in this month's box that I wanted anyway. So obviously Ipsy is the rock star this month because their customer service is on freaking point. They are so good. I see on Twitter all the time people praising their customer service. Anytime I've ever had a product that was broken upon arrival, instantly replaced it. And if they didn't have it, they replaced it with something very similar. So Ipsy, thank you so much for your great customer service. Sephora, step that shit up because uh, right now you're not really on my good list. But uh, yeah, that is everything for this month's Play by Sephora versus Ipsy without the actual Play by Sephora. So uh, yeah, if you guys like this video, be sure Sure to show some love to the like button down there and if you subscribe you can be a member of my music 
that was too mumbly. You can be a member of my Muse family. And I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.